Yes, it's all eyes on the skies. We're looking ahead to the Perseid meteor shower. Meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees telling us everything we need to know. So Brittany, Will we, be, will we be able to see the action? Oh, we absolutely will, Carolyn. It's going to peak this weekend. So essentially Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and Monday morning. Remember, of course, any time after midnight is technically the next day. Now, the official peak is Sunday morning. Best time to see it likely is going to be after midnight and before about 3.30. The reason why is because the moon won't have risen yet. So you're going to get a lot of, you know, those darker skies to be able to see the contrast. And then you'll also be able to see a second opportunity just before dawn. Now, of course, if you're in a more rural area away from a lot of that light pollution, you're going to have an easier time seeing it. Now, last year, you might remember that we talked about the fact that the Perseids weren't going to be good. That was because it fell on the same night as a full moon. So the moon was so bright that we couldn't see a wink. This year, we're on a waning crescent moon, so only about a 10% of illumination. So this year should be a lot better. Some quick best viewing practices. Look to the darkest part of the sky, even if you're in the city, but you want to try to get away from as much light as possible. Be patient and give your times that extra uh, your eyes that extra time to adjust. It normally takes about 10 to 15 minutes for you to do that. And then again, I mentioned this before, but pre moonrise might be your best bet specifically this year because that moonrise is right around 347, but you should get more opportunities as we get closer uh, to pre dawn hour. So I just want to make a significant point about that just because typically we tell folks right before dawn and so far it does look Brad like the weather is going to hold out for us to get a nice view this weekend.